hello guys welcome to my channel you are watching how to fix stack in this video i am going to show you four steps to resolve this issue this is the black screen you can see i am only able to move the mouse so in this video four steps to resolve this issue starting from basic to advanced so first of all we will analyze why we are facing this issue so there are mainly four reasons behind this error if we talk about the software first is corruption in your user profile second is wrong display adapter you are using or outdated display adapter you are using and third is incompatible windows update you have done on your windows and fourth is wrong software installation on your windows so these are the software issues on your windows if you talk about the hardware issue there could be the ram issue on your windows there could be the vga cable and hdmi cable is not working on your windows as well as the monitor is not working properly on your windows so you can see your hardware at your label so in this video i will explain you the software issue how you can resolve this issue so first of all what you can do is if you are not able to do anything on your windows like you can see i am only able to move my cursor so in this case you need to press alt control delete on your keyboard together like this now you will see the five options here you need to click on here task manager option you can see now you should be able to open your task manager now you need to look for windows explorer like this this is the windows explorer you can see here some software and the other application are corrupted so we can restart our windows explorer you need to click on that and click on restart button here now you should be able to see if the issue is resolved or not so this is the first method you can try if your issue is minor your issue should be fixed and if your issue is big then you need to make sure that the user profile is not corrupted so for checking that you need to click on here file click on run new task and type here resedit as shown on the screen and tick this box create this task with the administrative privilege you need to have admin rights to modify the registry editor click on ok button here now you should be able to see the screen like this so you need to click on this hkey local machine double click on it like this then you need to expand the option software double click on the software option then look for microsoft this is the option double click on this option now look for windows nt in the w series this is the windows nt option double click on this option now underneath you can choose the current version option double click on this and now finally look for win logon which should be in the w series win logon this is the option double click on this option win logon now this is the path you can follow this path i will give you this path into my description box and you can follow on the screen as well so now on the right side look for shell this is the option shell double click on this option and like this and make sure it is written like explorer.exe in my case it is already written but still facing the black screen on my windows so you can rewrite this explorer.exe like this click on ok button here now double click it to re-verify explorer.exe click on ok button now close this registry editor close this again hold control alt and delete button together like this and click on this time restart button if the issue with the user profile corruption your issue should be fixed with the restart 
so let me restart you and then I will show you Now log in with your profile. Your issue should be fixed with the second method if we have corruption in your user profile. So we can modify through the registry editor. So if you are still facing this issue, black screen issue, what you can do is control alt delete button together like this. Hold it and hold the shift key button hold the shift key and click on restart button and keep holding the shift key and click on restart now hold the shift key button until you get the advanced screen which is called automatic repair screen hold it after that you will see the bunch of options here now you need to click on troubleshoot options click on this option now click on advanced options now you can see more options here if you have updated your windows and after that you are facing the issue you can click on uninstall and uninstall the latest update but we will try the other method click on startup setting we are going to log in into our windows in the safe mode click on startup setting now click on restart button here Now you will see more options like this from the sequence. You need to press F4 and 4 on your keyboard. I'm going to press F4 on my keyboard. Now choose your admin account and log in with the account or you can use with the other user. Like this is the safe mode screen. Now press window plus R button together like this and type a dev mz msc to open the device manager or you can directly go to by search. Now these are the options. Now look for display adapter. This is the option. Expand this option. Right click on this like this and click on uninstall device. Now choose this option, delete the driver software for this device, tick this option and click on uninstall button. Now your wrong display driver will be uninstalled and you will able to use your Microsoft by default driver. So after uninstalling it, you can reinstall it from the manufacturer website and your issue should be fixed. Now after uninstalling this, close this option and press window plus R button together and type here app with dot cpl to open the programs and features or you can directly go to search by add or remove programs if you suspect that if you have installed any program on your windows and then you are facing the issue you need to click on install date like this now select the software and click on uninstall button here Uninstall the program which is causing the issue. This. Close this option. Now restart your system in a normal mode. Like this. And one more thing, if you are not able to access your automatic repair screen, uh, advanced screen with the hold shift and restart button, you need to shut down your system two to three times as soon as the manufacturer logo appears on your windows. And then you will see the automatic repair option and then wait for the advanced screen. Your issue should be fixed and you can access the advanced screen on your windows. If let's say your issue is still not fixed, what you can do is you need to 
hold control or delete button again and hold the shift key again click on restart button and hold the shift key until you get the advanced screen or you can restart your system or you can shut down your system two to three times as soon as the manufacturer logo appears you need to press power key for 10 seconds and then turn it on again if you are not able to access the advanced screen now you need to click on troubleshoot option here again you need to click on advanced options now you need to choose the command prompt now choose your admin account put the password now you need to type here one command sfc space slash scan now sfc stands for system file checker now sfc will scan all the windows file and repair those if corrupted so wait for the process to complete this will take uh, 5 to 10 minutes so you need to wait for that now if you have found any corruption on your windows and if you are getting this error windows resource protection could not perform the requested operation you need to exit out from command like this and again go to troubleshoot option now click on the reset option now you can choose the reset options carefully you need to click on keep your personal file or remove everything if the corruption in your windows so you can remove everything and if you see that the issue is fixed or not with the reset on your PC and you can choose couple of options here you need to click on here you can choose more options here if you have created a restore point you can choose this option and this will take your system to the date when you created the restore point like this I created this option on 27-8-2022 so click on next button and your system will be restored to backstage when you created the restore point so these are the couple of options I have shown you in this video hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is still not fixed get it repaired by the professionals and your issue should be with the hardware issue so hope you enjoyed this video if your issue is solved then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech